And this is almost too stupid simple that people like, it can't be that easy. And I'll tell you a, a second piece that's kind of like important to this is most of my clients, and I would suggest that they're people with money who lack time mm -hmm. and not people who have abundance of time and lack money. And I think those are generally the best clients. So like they actually prefer to be sold this way. Yep. And I'll actually, before we, uh, I just wanted to answer two questions about it and then I'll show you guys how it works. Cause the two biggest questions I get about it are, well, okay, what are your conversion rates? Because yeah, like I know you can send a video, but I close 60% of my calls. My conversion rates are about five or, or 15 to 20%. Mm -hmm. But what nobody tells you is it's not apples to apples because the number of people who will jump on the phone with you for 60 minutes and talk with you is very, very low. Mm -hmm. And the number of people who will watch a video is at least 10 times higher. So even though like one to one, I close less, I get 10 times as much opportunities. And so our net closing rates are actually much higher. Um, and then the second question is people say, well, what about the quality? Because a part of the reason I get on the phone is to like weed them out and make sure they're a good fit. And believe it or not, part of like coming up with the offer. So I hear my daughter crying at the door over here, my youngest, um, is I make the offer like very clear who it's for and who it's not. And you mm. would be amazed that people who come out from the video are actually better quality. It's because in my experience, they've taken a step towards you rather than you kind of arm twisting them for the credit card. Yeah. And so the two things I get are like the conversion rate and the quality, and they're actually both higher doing mm -hmm. it this way as a whole. And this is really the whole Loom video. It's, it's three parts. <laughs> it's an offer. Yeah. Okay, before you show me, I'll tell you what, it's the same thing. Every success is simple and it's three steps. Yeah. That is it. Right, three step plan, baby. Three step plan, right? And all right, so show us the thing again. It's right. too simple. Do it. Yeah, I know it looks too simple, but I'll tell you the real key is is this one over here. Okay. Is the offer is just so easy to say yes to that it doesn't require all those, all those things. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a plan and a demonstration. And I want to break it down to you guys. I found like this is my little notes, and and this is certainly not the only way to create an offer. And like, there's an infinite number of ways to be successful. And I just want to share with you guys. What I find to be the easiest way to create these offers, because when I make these Loom videos, when I'm like planning them, I actually make them in reverse. So I think about the offer first, then I do the plan second, and then I do the first 15 seconds last. Um, so this is the easiest way I've found to come up with an offer that people want, is start with a broad niche. Mm -hmm. And then there's a concept in here I called the nickel and the $100 bill, and then build your own unique system. So I'll give you an example of that. Um, one of the things we did back in the day is I worked a lot with plastic surgeons when I used to do SEO. And one day a guy came to me and said, well, I don't, I don't really want all the business. Like they get a lot of stuff that comes through the door where they, they might make $500, but it costs them 500 to do it. Like if you yeah. think about, uh, and every niche has this, by the way, every niche has like volume stuff. That's really cheap. Like in my niche and the lawyer stuff, what I would call the nickel stuff is you can bring lawyers traffic tickets like all day long. They'll fight yeah. traffic tickets, but they make like a hundred bucks and they usually pay a paralegal a hundred bucks to defend it. So like you can send them millions of dollars worth of business and they won't make any money from traffic tickets directly. The hundred dollar bill in my niche is something that we specialize in our agency. I call it, or they're called motorcycle cases. Yeah. Motorcycle cases are like $80,000 cases. Would that be like personal injury? Is that correct? Yeah. Or yeah. It is, that, right? It's like an, gotcha. and, and, this is like when you start with a niche, you want to think about specializing about the hundred dollar thing within the niche, which yeah. is the highest. So if you're doing coaching, it might be masterminds. If you're doing e-commerce, it might be all those recurring backend packages. Yeah. If you're working with a dentist, like all in nickel, floors or implants. Yeah, exactly. Veneers yeah. and implants. But if you bring him and we forget this sometimes, because when we say like, I'm going to bring you more patients. They're like, the, as long as it's not a cleaning, you're like, oh, crap. <laughs> exactly. How about lightning? They're like, nope. Because like, they make no money off of that. And, and a lot of people don't know this, but I just know this because my mom worked at a dental office. They have constant neck and back pain from leaning over people. So when you say, I'm going to bring you somebody, you're not going to make any money. It's a whole lot of work. Um, and you say, I'm going to bring you more of that. Like, you, it couldn't Why possibly sell. yes to that? <laughs> exactly. So in every niche, there's the $100 bill. So in the plastic surgery case, they uh, the guy said to us, Hey, I want more of these mommy makeovers. They're like forty, fifty thousand dollars. Yep. Do you think you could build me a website for mommy makeover and then just rank it for those keywords? And I said, yeah. And then I realized later that like more guys would want this. And so when you think about like SEO from an offer perspective, it's like 
especially today, like my clients get pitched 100 times a day for SEO and probably 50 times a day for Facebook ads. So it's like a box that everybody's in. But the minute you say, hey, I do motorcycle cases, even if your delivery system is Facebook ads like ours is, that's like the $100 thing, right? So um, so we were the only ones saying, hey, I'll build you a mommy makeover site. I'll put you in front of mommy makeover people and I'll rank it. And then when you come up with your unique system for it, which is just your own little methodology for getting results, it could just be an ad, a landing page, some follow-up emails, like basic shit. Yep. But nobody else will have that. And what it creates what I call a mini monopoly where they can't shop you around. When you're a Facebook ads person, they can shop you 8,000 places. When they you're the Google person- Facebook ads, that's it, done, right? I actually did that the other day. There's like 4.3 <laughs> billion results. Just like to give you an like, idea. Like management alone for Facebook ads is like 200 bucks a month. Yeah. Exactly. So this is the simplest way I've found to make an offer. There's, there's a lot of other ways to do it. And this is kind of a deep topic that we could do a lot longer than an hour. But you start with something like dentists, you figure out the veneers are the expensive stuff, and then you come up with your own unique system. And then you can package that a lot of exciting ways to make an offer that they want. And it's just, it, it boils down to, would you like more hundred dollar bills in your life? And who yeah. says no to that? Yo, there, there's so much Jay Abraham and Travis going on right now here. This is nuts. <laughs> I'm having a great fucking time. I watch both of them way too much and, and you're nailing it right on the head. This is fantastic. So the next, like the middle piece, and I said, I do this in reverse. So we'll get to the demonstration last is the plan. Mm -hmm. And this is the biggest thing actually I see for missing from a lot of marketers is we try and hide it. We say like, I got my unique system, a proprietary seven step method. And maybe it, sometimes that works within marketing markets because they like mysterious shit. But if you're telling a dentist, I have some two super top top secret way of getting you clients. And he's like, all right, well, don't do it here. I don't <laughs> yeah, want exactly. to no. <laughs> You need transparency and it helps to boil down that transparency to three to five steps, just high level so he can get what you're doing. So like in my case with the motorcycle cases, it's like here on Facebook, we can target motorcycle riders. See, we got all these targeting. And then I... Run this ad right here that says, hey, you motorcycle rider, download this book. It'll help you if you're ever in an accident. And then they get a book. See this book? It's for motorcycle riders. And they go to this landing page that says motorcycle stuff to get the book. And then we send a bunch of follow-ups over motorcycles. And they all say, call you. That's how we get motorcycles, right? So like you show so, them and like. So the technician in me is going to argue and focus on that like PDF, right? Like the whether it should be a PDF or like have you been in an accident ad or something like that, does the mechanism matter? Like you can change it at any time. Does it have to be the the lead magnet? Can it be like an ad? Can it be anything? Like, does it matter? Yeah, I mean, it's your system. Like by all means, make it, put your own unique flair on it. I'm just saying like, that's what we do, but there's oh, a gotcha. lot of okay, ways okay. to, but I'm just giving an example. Like your plan should be three to five steps where they can see, okay, yeah, like I can see how that would produce motorcycle cases. The other way, the other benefit, by the way, of doing the hundred dollar thing mm -hmm. is, you get a lot of fucking room to be wrong. Like when a case, yep. one case is worth $80,000, I can get a thousand leads on Facebook for 10 bucks each and only convert one person and I get high fives. Yep. If I do that for a restaurant, like if I spend 10 grand and one person comes into the restaurant, they think I'm an idiot. So part of like why I specialize in these things, it's actually, it's easy to like justify high value, right? Because mm -hmm. it's like, I'm bringing you hundred dollar bills and like trucking accidents are another case. If you guys are in personal injury, that would be a good one to do. Yeah. So that means your, your client conversations or how you're building this client conversation, this loom video, you're first saying, look, I'm going to figure out a big industry, a big niche, something that I'm either an expert in or not. It doesn't matter. We'll figure yeah. it out. You can Google anything. And then you're saying, look, I'm going to establish the nickels and the $100 bills. I'm going to make sure I'm only going after the $100 bills. Correct. So that way, when I'm crafting client communication, having a conversation with a client, you can say, hey, Mr. Johnson, I know you're a lawyer and I know that you actually want more personal injury cases. I'm going to show you our three to five step system that's going to hopefully generate you more personal injury cases. That's pretty much it. Is that right? In a nutshell, yes. Yeah. Right. And, and we've got to dial down now where you know we can be a little more ballsy on it and say, uh, we're doing something similar to what you, I believe you guys are doing right now, which is I think you guys are doing pay per live transfer. But I, our offer right now is like get 10 of those phone calls for a thousand bucks, right? So nice. it's like, and then of course, and it's designed that way on purpose. I actually got the idea. Um, Travis talks a lot about this, but I saw it in your group is when you're first starting out and you don't have like mounds or case studies and things like that, where most people, 
get it wrong is they start with a marriage offer, which is a big thing like SEO, marry me for a year. Yes. <laughs> and it's, it's a hard sell for somebody who doesn't know you. And if you make that thing smaller, like, Hey, let's just do a little first date and see where it goes, but design yeah. the first date. So it automatically leads into more. And there was a guy in your group that I saw that did this brilliantly. Somebody said, Hey, can anybody do creatives for Facebook ads? Cause I hate making the images. And this guy said, I do videos for 50 bucks a piece. And that was a very like small offer. And, and he had like a whole list of people who said, me, 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 me. Yep. It was and of a course very easy. Yes. Yeah. It's a very easy. Yes. One video for 50 bucks. But what are 90% of those people going to do if they like buy the video? more videos, buy more videos. So he's really selling like a two to $3,000 a month video package that take the works off works their work off the plate of agency owners, but it's not packaged that way. It's just a little small, try one video for 50 bucks. So that's how we do it. It's like, it's just yeah. a little small, try 10 phone calls, a thousand bucks. If it works out, you can do more. If, if for any reason it sucks, I'll even give you your thousand dollars back. Although I don't think I've ever had to do that. Even when it doesn't work out, they usually don't ask for the money back. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Like you got to show them like how you're going to do it, whatever that is for you, whatever your methodology. But the best thing you can do here is not be ambiguous and vague and talk about like my super secret method. Let's just show them how I'm going to get results. Cause they need to, like, if I say to you, Jeff, I'm going to give you a hundred thousand dollars. Clearly you're probably going to want that, but the, the believability is the hard part and the yep. plan helps establish the believability. And then the, this is probably the most important part of the video, the demonstration. And I actually got this idea. There was a, a guy in Florida who was the number one salesperson selling hurricane proof windows, like crushing mm -hmm. it. And he was like outselling number two and three and four. And uh, I knew somebody who like indirectly knew the guy and they went to their big annual sales conference and everybody wanted to know like, what's your secret? Like, how are you selling all these damn windows? And they're, they're looking for the sales technique. He's got the one, two, three step method, the, the tie down, the close. And he was, it was so simple. He's like, well, I grab the window here. I grab a hammer and I go, wham. And I no, go, see, hurricane no, no. proof windows. It must be more complicated than that. <laughs> no, there's no way simple works. Unacceptable. So the other part of our loom video and this part only lasts like 10, 15 seconds, but I hit you with the demonstration and there's only three demonstrations you can ever make. And it depends on where your market is at. You can highlight their symptom. Yep. You can highlight the result you create, or you can put those two things side by side. So weight loss is an example of putting those things side by side. You see, here's before here's after. And yeah. I know you can't really run any of that on Facebook ads, but you guys know what I mean. Seeing um, before and after. So a good example of like, um, of this, like I just had a guy actually doing one of these loom videos in our mastermind. And he said, I work with e-commerce and he was promising something like two times ROAS and, uh, um, I'm going to make you more sales on your e-commerce store. And I asked him, I said, how do they receive more sales in their world in their e-commerce store? And he said, well, they all got these little Shopify apps on their phone and it goes ding, ding, ding. So that's how you start the video. Ding, 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 nice. ding. Right? Like, do you want that? And so we try not to say it with words. I always try and show people visually. So the question is like, you want to think about how would that show up in the world? How would, how would a hurricane proof window go wham? Yeah. And so when you do that, that does like, uh, Travis says this, and I think it's really true is if they say a picture is worth a thousand words, a demonstration is worth a thousand pictures. And if you think yeah. about like every infomercial product that's been sold over the years, almost always it's on a demonstration. So however you can do that, and it doesn't always have to be by the way, your own case study if to, to demonstrate the result, but you want to show people. And then the other one is if they're only symptom aware, then you want to showcase the symptoms. So we got a guy in our mastermind who works with dentists who's doing these videos and the dentist, they, the thing they say to him most often is I spent like 20 grand on a pr picture perfect magazine website. But at the end of the day, my hygienist chair is empty. Yeah. So we made a little demonstration. It's a picture. It shows like a ten, twenty thousand dollar beautiful looking dentist website. Everybody's smiling. They got perfect white teeth photoshopped to, and then a little arrow, and it shows an empty hygienist chair. Yeah. And exactly their words, and say, "Does this sound like you?" And so we hook them like very, very strongly in those first fifteen seconds, and show them mm -hmm. we're going to give you this new and exciting way out. And then we show them here's our plan, and then we give them the offer and the offer is just a small little ask. And then it doesn't require all those things. So like, just to give you an idea of this, like start to finish, like what we're yeah. doing in the motorcycle stuff is I hit them with an email inbox that shows all these people requesting like, Hey, I have a motorcycle case. I'm interested. Like we got a screenshot mm -hmm. of one of our clients email accounts. So I show them like, how would you like your inbox to look like this? These are motorcycle yeah. cases. And then I say, let me tell you how we're going to get it. I go on Facebook. I target motorcycle riders. 
I send him this ad right here. It says, are you a motorcycle rider? We go to this landing page, which is about motorcycles. We send him a book and we follow up with these people till the end of time. Mm -hmm. That's how we get motorcycle cases. If you're interested in trying that out, we're offering a package right now. It's 10 motorcycle leads for a thousand dollars. And you can get started with this. There's no commitment. There's no obligation. Obviously we'd like to keep you long-term, uh, but we, we understand you've probably been burned a lot in the past. So I'd rather just show you. And if for any reason it doesn't work out, let me know if you think we should have a conversation about that. And almost always there's no conversation. They're just like, mm -hmm. Hey, okay. That sounds like something I want to do. 